Hey, it's Carlo Perusa. Welcome back to Carlo Perusa MMA. I am with the body snatcher, Mr. Jesse Ronson, following his victory here. Gamebred Bare Knuckle MMA 7 against Anthony Njokwani. Jesse, you made your Bare Knuckle MMA debut, put on a dominating performance, finished him in the first round. We were able to t shoot for the takedowns and get him down and just use your power and your strength to your advantage. Coming into the contest, did you think you were going to take him down like this? Uh, to be honest, yes. <laughs> um... But I definitely wanted to showcase the hands with him because, the, like I said, he fought my favorite kickboxer ever, Andy Sauer, and beat him. So I wanted to test my mettle on the feet with him. He knocked out one of my friends and training partners with a head kick way back in the day. So I had to, you know, let him know, hey, if you want to throw out, if you, if you want to throw down, I'm down to throw down. And I felt that I could have put him away with the hands, but it would have been in the second and third round. I think I might have hurt him a couple of times because the way he just changed his stance up and his posture. Uh, however, I knew I could put him away in the first with some ground after I got him down the first time. I knew he didn't have the, the wrestling hips and I, he was just light as a feather. It kind of kind of felt like Daniel Cormier versus Dan Henderson where he was just like, he just felt too light. Don't get me wrong, he was strong, but uh, it faded. And uh, yeah, I'm a jiu-jitsu black belt, man. I'm not an idiot. When we get down there, I know what I'm doing. You feel any sort of transition process going from glove to MMA to bare knuckle? Yeah, I uh, hit him right in the forehead. And uh, it's a little bruised right here. And I was like, it, I, the, the only way I could describe it was like, boing, boing. I was like, holy shit, hey, be careful with that one. And then, uh, yeah, it just, you have to be a little more selective with where you hit somebody. And uh, I wasn't because it was my first time. But next time I'll be, I'm, I'm known for my accuracy and pinpoint. So I know what I need to work on is just a little more accuracy. Because when he started sitting down, putting his hands up, I was like, I don't give a shit. I'll hit you in the forehead. I'm confident in the structure of my hands and my power that his head will break before my hands. But uh, I don't, I don't want to, you know, break my fucking hands. Right? So it's like, that's a game I'm not willing to play. As confident as I am, I'm not playing that game. Overall, what were your thoughts on this week as a whole? Do you enjoy yourself out here, game bread? Yeah, you know what? Game bread, the staff was awesome. Everybody was awesome. I mean, the hotel could use a little work. I barely got any Wi-Fi. I showed up and my room key didn't work. I go back, get a different room key. It still doesn't work. I had to wait for the, the, the some guy. They're like, oh, the lock's dead. And uh, I was waiting outside probably for 45 minutes in like track pants, shorts, a shirt, a hoodie, and a leather jacket. And I'm like, I'm fucking dying. Like just waiting and then my corner was like just take some clothes off i was like yeah you're right you're right you're right but it still it sucks getting off a plane and having to wait out in the heat for a little bit but uh no overall i you know i i enjoyed everything the staff was prompt and on time you know they say weigh-ins 9 30 weigh-ins are 9 30. you know they were pretty quick to tell me if things were changing and uh yeah it's just overall been a good week and i'm just glad that i told you you know it's not getting out of the first round like two guys like him and me it's, it's bare knuckle, man. It, it shouldn't go past the first round. If you really want it and you really want to go for it, fuck it, man. Like, there's no way it could go five minutes. And uh, I feel that way going into my next one. It's going to be seven in a row and seven first round finishes. And hopefully they give me that stupid fuck Jeremy Holloway that decided to run his mouth on the Game Bread um, Instagram page when uh, Noah Jaquani and I faced off. So now six fights in a row, six first round finishes. When do you want to fight again? Do you want to be active this year? Fuck yeah, I'd love to fight four, maybe five times. Uh, four times if I can get a title shot in December. Five times if there's no title shot. Um, I mean, he put up a, a heavyweight title tonight, so maybe he'll put up a welterweight title later on. Uh, I'd like to get, you know, another good win. So get me the guy that I just asked for. Uh, I got to make that money, man. I'm getting too old to be fighting for what I'm fighting for. Fucking just, I, Jorge is not probably Bill Gates rich, but I know his pockets run deep. So hopefully he can, uh, my manager can negotiate something and get me hopefully at least double what I got tonight. Uh, and I fucking, I would love to come back. This was fucking awesome. I'm, it's like the highest of high. And uh, just being around Jorge makes you fucking violent. <laughs> if you feel violent, he didn't even need to give the speech that he gave before the fight, man. It was fucking great. All right, last question, Jesse. You think Canada watched you over the Maple Leafs tonight? If they fucking watched the Toronto Maple Leafs over me, they're, I, I might as well just move out of Canada. Like, I've been representing this country since 2007 with Team Canada Kickboxing. You know, I won uh, some international titles for us. I've been representing Canada on the pro scene for a while. I know I kind of fucked it up in the UFC, but, uh, you know, I got a fresh start here. And 1-0, uh, and, oh, and uh, soon to be 2-0, and 3-0, oh, and oh, soon to be a champion. And uh, I'm going to make Canada love fighting again. There's, a, there's no way about it. They're going to, it's fucking bare knuckle. Let's go. <laughs>
That's the body snatcher. I'm Carla Prusa. Stick around. Yes, sir.